Hey there, home learning heroes. We are back and I'm happy to see you again. Today, we are going to start unit 15, which I'm very excited about. So we're gonna look at a small book today, and this is week one, level two, for unit 15. Uh, the title is, May I Join the Bun Race? Very cool, and I can see in the picture here that this has something to do with a Hong Kong festival. So we'll look at this book together, and I think we'll read it two times, right? The first time we'll go slow, we'll look at the words and see what the book's really about. And then the second time is when we get to practice our fluency, which should be really great. So let's take a look at this book together. Here we go. Starting with the title, May I Join the Bun Race? And down at the bottom, we have big A for author, cover it up, Mike Lee. And then the big I for illustrator, cover it up, Mabel Ma. Remember, the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. Speaking of pictures, I can see on the front cover, we've got a boy here and he is dreaming or thinking about climbing that bun tower and getting all those tasty buns. So let's go ahead and look together. This is the title page and we can read again. May I join the bun race? All right. So this is a different type of book, something that we haven't really looked at before. It's kind of like a comic. Now the comic has a couple parts. We have the top or the bottom, which is your normal text. But then inside the picture, we have speech bubbles. And the speech bubble is a box with, with different words, and it points at somebody. So the, this speech bubble here is pointing at the boy, which means he's the one talking. And this one here is pointing at the mom. And this one down here is pointing at the little girl. So that tells you who's doing the talking in comics. Pretty easy, right? Now, what you might not know is we're going to start here with the text at the top. And then we'll go and we'll read the first speech bubble and we'll go from left to right and top to bottom. So let's start at the top here. I see we have some characters. Ready? You can read with me. Aunt Eve, Bella, and Steve are waiting for the ferry. Good. And I can see that this must be Steve here. Aunt Eve and Bella must be the little girl. All right, we'll start with Steve, and he says, Mom, may I go to the bun? That's a big word there. Festival. 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 The bun festival on Chung Chow. That's the island. And the mom goes next, and she says, Yes, you may. And down here, little Bella, Me too, because she's excited. All right, pretty good. Next page, we have the same type of text at the top with left to right and top to bottom. Let's go, ready, steady. A big Chinese junk is coming to the, hmm, that's an interesting word, pier. It's a pier is where you walk to get onto the boat. So it sticks out in the water so the boats can pull right up and you can get on the boat. Uh, a Chinese junk, those are fun. That's the big old wooden ships. We still have some in Hong Kong today. We can start down here with Steve. Mom, may I go on that pirate junk? So he's asking a lot of questions, so our voice has to go up. And then Mom says, yes, you may. And of course, Bella, me too. All right, next page we have... Text at the top, left to right, top to bottom. Let's read the text at the top first. Um, I can also see in the picture here that we have a new character. I remember him. Do you remember his name? Pirate Pang, and he's got a parrot on his head. Uh, down here, it's join us soon. Looks like you can call a number to join the junk. Let's read at the top. They are getting on board. And we'll do here. Now, still pointing at Steve even though it's over the top of Pirate Pang. May I go on board with P Pang the pirate and Pete the parrot? And mom says, yes, you may. And of course, Bella says, me too. 
So here they go. Now, where are they going? Do you remember? What's the island name? Chong Chow. And why are they going there? Do you remember? Because it's the Bun Festival. All right, off they go. And looks like, looks like Steve's got something here. He has a fishing pole and he has a worm. What's he gonna do? Let's read. May I catch a fish? And mom, yes, you may. And Bella, me too. Now, does, does your mom say yes, you may all the time? Because Steve's mom says yes, you may all the time. Anything he wants. Yes, you may. And of course, a little sister always wants to do what her big brother does. Moving down, page six. Now, we don't have that text anymore, so we can just start left to right and top to bottom. It looks like Steve caught a huge fish. May I have fish for lunch? Yes, you may. Me too. They just say the same thing again and again and again. That's a big fish to cook. So they're going to cook it right there on the boat, on the junk. That looks like fun. There's something in his hand, too. Do you know what that thing is? It's a bun. I think he got one early. We can read. May I have a bun with my fish? Yes, you may. And me, too. Oh, that's getting old, huh? And there they are at the Chung Chow Bun Festival. You can see the men are climbing up the tall tower and grabbing those buns and putting them in their bags. Now that looks like a pretty fun thing to watch, but do you think you would like to do that, to climb that tall of a bun tower? Let's look at what Steve's face is. Look at his face. He looks pretty excited. What about mom? Does she look excited to go climb a bun tower? I don't think so. Nope. All right, at the bottom, now we have our text first. So let's read the text. The bun tower at Chung Chow is very tall. So there's Steve, and let's see what Steve wants. May I join the bun race? And what do you think mom's gonna say? Look at her face. No, you may not. Now that's the first time she said no. What about Bella? Bella always says me too. Mm, not this time, not me. Oh, it must be too tall. Okay. Here's the content words. That was great. Uh, there's a lot of them. So let's go through and read them all and then pause the video and practice. Make sure that you can read them all. Here we go. Aunt Eve, Bella, Steve, waiting, fairy, mum, bun festival, chung chow, Chinese junk, coming, pier, pirate junk, getting on board, pang the pirate, peep the parrot, catch, fish, lunch, join, bun race, bun tower, tall. Oh, good job. All right, we're gonna go back to the beginning of that book now and we will read it for fluency, which means I'm not going to point at the words anymore. Uh, now, you can always just pause the video, or you can turn off the sound and just try on your own, or you can just try and do it along with me. When we do it for fluency, we will have a stronger voice, we'll go faster, and we'll use some more energy. Shall we? Here we go. May I Join the Bun Race by Mike Lee, illustrator Mabel Ma. Aunt Eve... Bella and Steve are waiting for the ferry. Mum, may I go to the bun festival on Chung Chow? Yes, you may. Me too. A big Chinese junk is coming to the pier. Mum, may I go on that pirate junk? Yes, you may. Me too. They are getting on board. May I go on board with Pang the Pirate and Pete the Parrot? Yes, you may. Me too. May I catch a fish? Yes, you may. Me too. May I have fish for lunch? Yes, you may. Me too. May I have a bun with my fish? Yes, you may. 
Me too. The Bun Tower at Chung Chow is very tall. May I join the Bun Race? No, you may not. Not me. Hey, that was fun. All right, lots of different characters to talk. Let's do a quick orientation. That's the who's in the story, when does it happen, and where. That was pretty easy. Uh, we have the who is the characters. So we have um, Steve, and we've got the little sister, Bella, and um, the Auntie Eve. Aunt Eve is the mom. And when does it happen? Well, it's kind of during the day, maybe at the weekend when the festival is happening. So Chung Chow Festival. And where does it happen? On Chung Chow Island. And on the junk a bit too. So what are the events? What happens in the story? They are on a trip to the Bun Festival. And um, doesn't he catch a fish for lunch too? Pretty good. What is the problem? Well, at the very end, he wants to join the bun race where you climb the big tower, but it was too tall, and Mom said, no way. So in the end, they had a good day, but he could not join the bun race. And that's it. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. We will finish Unit 15 together, so come back, and we will do the rest of our home readers. Until then, goodbye.